Okay, we're going to talk today about caves. Um, let me start with a, a story, actually two stories. Imagine, if you would, uh, your great-great-grandfather, years and years ago, generations ago, was a, a little kid, uh, maybe a young teenager, and he's out camping with some friends, and they go up in the mountains, off away from civilization for a little while to get out and the you know they build a campfire set up tent etc it's starting to get late starting to get a little dark and your great great grandfather wanders off he's just exploring this is normal right and he goes off and he's you know just kind of seeing what's around and he comes across a little cave it's um, about two feet tall, and it's dark, and it's hard to really see what's going on inside, and naturally he's curious. Um, the campsite isn't too far away, so he peeks in, he just wants to see what's in there. <clears throat> well, a shadowy figure moves around, and he, of course, gets startled, and as he gets closer, he isn't quite running yet, because he's still curious, but coming out of the cave, he's, he notices the shadowy figure reveals that it's a cougar. And he's right there next to the cougar. And of course, this freaks him out. And he runs down the side of the mountain, back into the campground. He's safe, but has this bit of a traumatic experience, right? So he, um, he carries that with him, an emotional experience with a cave, an interaction, rather. Well, he goes on the rest of his life kind of afraid of caves, oddly enough and uh, teaches his kids that caves are not good and they teach their kids dad said caves aren't good don't go in caves they're dangerous animals live there they can hurt you they teach their kids grandpa told us about caves they're awful stay away so forth uh, you can see how ridiculous that is but let me give you another example this is example of great grandpa number two great grandpa number two goes camping just like Great grandpa number one, and he uh, is with his family this time, and he <clears throat> they're out there away from civilization in some tents, not a lot of good shelter, but a huge thunderstorm, a monsoon comes in and just pounds the campground. It's flooding, the tents are not working, they're leaking everywhere, there's just nowhere to go for safety. Well, somebody in the Somebody in the party discovers a small nearby cave. They all go inside, there's just enough space. They build a warm campfire, they dry off, they're able to lay down, get a good night's sleep. The cave provides great grandpa number two with shelter and a warm night when he otherwise wouldn't have. Well, he has a very good experience with a cave. Naturally, he goes throughout his life thinking caves are great, caves are a safe haven they're a shelter they keep you safe and warm totally different experience than grandpa number one well grandpa number two teaches his kids this caves are good and they teach their kids and they teach their kids what I'm trying to get at is you may have been taught something by someone who had an experience with that principle that they're teaching you and all they're doing is teaching you from their experience it may or may not be true for you, and it may not even be true at all. Caves aren't necessarily good or bad. It just so happens that one person had a bad experience with a cave. Doesn't make caves bad. And it certainly doesn't make caves bad for you. Well, how does this apply in your life? You don't go out looking at caves, sleeping in caves, obviously. But you do have beliefs about yourself. For example, you might think you're a little overweight. You might think that you're too, too ugly that you're not smart enough, that you're not capable enough here or there. You might have these self-limiting beliefs. And where did they come from? Good question. Well, the law of the cave suggests that our, self, our beliefs come from our either people, in the case of the caves, but our surroundings, our environment, how we grew up, where we grew up, um, 
You might have parents that are a certain way. You might have friends that influence you a certain way. We become the product of our environment. And if we want to change who we are, we need to change something in our environment. It's a very true principle of success. Success comes from the inside out, not from the outside in. If you want to change your life circumstances and your outcome, you start from within. And that goes to the core of what I'm talking about, your beliefs in yourself and how you see the world. So you might think that a certain type of business endeavor is bad. You have this stigma and you wonder where it came from. I want you to question and I want you to wonder what is it about it that makes it seem bad to me? Why am I afraid of clowns? Why is, where, where did this come from? Where did that come from? And a lot of times it's traced back to an experience, either from you or from something that somebody else had. And usually it's some kind of an emotional experience because emotion is what causes sticking power. So, after you've kind of looked at your life and figured, be aware of some of the beliefs that you have in yourself, I want you to ask yourself, where did that come from? Because a lot of times, there's really no depth to it at all. It just kind of appeared or it came. Why am I afraid of public speaking? Why am I afraid to, to get go out and start a business? Or what, what is it that bothers me about this or that? If you trace it back and try and figure out where it came from, a lot of times, if, if it is a ridiculous and there's no substance to it. Just like labels, we slap labels on each other, right? He's a nerd, he's a geek, he's a jock, he does this, he's that. That's just one person's opinion and that label can have lifetime effects. It can stick with us, just like our belief systems. So the next time you have some kind of a self-limiting doubt or a small-minded belief system, notice it. Stop and notice it, that's step number one. Then give it a little bit of attention. Figure out where it came from. Realize how ridiculous it is and then start to change how you think about yourself. Because you change from within, the circumstances from without will ultimately change for you.